Candlestick. History and Patterns. Japanese candlestick patterns have been around for centuries. Originally they were used by merchants to help them predict and profit from rice trading. While there are accounts of candlesticks being used as far back as the 17th century, the first detailed documentation of candlestick patterns can be traced back to an 18th century Japanese businessman named Munyahiza Homa. Munyahiza used candlesticks to chart and track rice contracts. Everyone at the time was tracking rice contracts, but what he did was take an emotional approach to the market, analyzing fear, greed, and the herd mentality. He found a way to accurately observe the behavior of the masses and manipulate them to his advantage. He tracked the opening and closing price along with the high and low of the day and placed them on a chart. This graphic representation was a series of columns that looked like candlesticks, hence the name. He took an extremely chaotic market and brought some order and insight to why prices did what they did. The patterns that repeated themselves over and over again became his bedrock for future price moves. Homa made huge contributions to early candlestick charting. Remember, we are still in 18th century Japan here. Munyahiza needed a way to link the chart patterns to some visual concept, the tug of war between buyers and sellers in the market. With this, he labeled the names of specific candlestick patterns from mostly military concepts. Today some of these patterns have kept their Japanese names such as the Doji Star, Harami, and Tasuki. Others have been translated into an English equivalent, like the Abandoned Baby or Hanging Man. Either way, the patterns are still the same today as they were back then and just as powerful for your trading. While this early version of technical analysis was different from the US version initiated by Charles Dow around 1900, many of the guiding principles were very similar. The what, price action, is more important than the why, news, earnings, and so on. All known information is reflected in the price. Buyers and sellers move markets based on expectations and emotions, fear and greed. Markets fluctuate. The actual price may not reflect the underlying value. In order to create a candlestick chart, you must have a data set that contains open, high, low and close values for each time period you want to display. The hollow or filled portion of the candlestick is called the body. The long thin lines above and below the body represent the high and low ranges and are called shadows. If the stop closes higher than its opening price, a hollow candlestick is drawn with the bottom of the body representing the opening price and the top of the body representing the closing price. If the stock closes lower than its opening price, a filled candlestick is drawn with the top of the body representing the opening price and the bottom of the body representing the closing price. Compared to traditional bar charts, many traders consider candlestick charts more visually appealing and easier to interpret. Each candlestick provides an easy to decipher picture of price action. Immediately a trader can compare the relationship between the open and close as well as the high and low. The relationship between the open and close is considered vital information and forms the essence of candlesticks. When using any candlestick pattern, it is important to remember that although they are great for quickly predicting trends, they should be used along other forms of technical analysis to confirm the overall trend. Bullish patterns may form after a market downtrend, and signal a reversal of price movement. They are an indicator for traders to consider opening a long position to profit from any upward trajectory. The hammer candlestick pattern is formed of a short body with a long lower wick, and is found at the bottom of a downward trend. A hammer shows that although there were selling pressures during the day, ultimately a strong buying pressure drove the price back up. The color of the body can vary, but green hammers indicate a stronger bull market than red hammers. Inverse Hammer A similarly bullish pattern is the inverted hammer. The only difference being that the upper wick is long, while the lower wick is short. It indicates a buying pressure, followed by a selling pressure that was not strong enough to drive the market price down. The inverse hammer suggests that buyers will soon have control of the market. Bullish Engulfing 
The bullish engulfing pattern is formed of two candlesticks. The first candle is a short red body that is completely engulfed by a larger green candle. Though the second day opens lower than the first, the bullish market pushes the price up, culminating in an obvious win for buyers. Piercing Line The piercing line is also a two-stick pattern, made up of a long red candle, followed by a long green candle. There is usually a significant gap down between the first candlestick's closing price, and the green candlestick's opening. It indicates a strong buying pressure, as the price is pushed up to or above the mid-price of the previous day. Morning Star The Morning Star candlestick pattern is considered a sign of hope in a bleak market downtrend. It is a three-stick pattern, one short-bodied candle between a long red and a long green. Traditionally, the star will have no overlap with the longer bodies, as the market gaps both on open and close. It signals that the selling pressure of the first day is subsiding, and a bull market is on the horizon. 3 White Soldiers The 3 White Soldiers pattern occurs over 3 days. It consists of consecutive long green candles with small wicks, which open and close progressively higher than the previous day. It is a very strong bullish signal that occurs after a downtrend, and shows a steady advance of buying pressure. The hanging man is the bearish equivalent of a hammer, it has the same shape but forms at the end of an uptrend. It indicates that there was a significant sell-off during the day, but that buyers were able to push the price up again. The large sell-off is often seen as an indication that the bulls are losing control of the market. Shooting Star The shooting star is the same shape as the inverted hammer, but is formed in an uptrend, it has a small lower body and a long upper wick. Usually, the market will gap slightly higher on opening, and rally to an intraday high before closing at a price just above the open, like a star falling to the ground. Bearish Engulfing A bearish engulfing pattern occurs at the end of an uptrend. The first candle has a small green body that is engulfed by a subsequent long red candle. It signifies a peak or slowdown of price movement, and is a sign of an impending market downturn. The lower the second candle goes, the more significant the trend is likely to be. Evening Star The Evening Star is a three candlestick pattern that is the equivalent of the bullish morning star. It is formed of a short candle sandwiched between a long green candle and a large red candlestick. It indicates the reversal of an uptrend, and is particularly strong when the third candlestick erases the gains of the first candle. Three Black Crows The Three Black Crows candlestick pattern comprises of three consecutive long red candles with short or non-existent wicks. Each session opens at a similar price to the previous day, but selling pressures push the price lower and lower with each close. Traders interpret this pattern as the start of a bearish downtrend, as the sellers have overtaken the buyers during three successive trading days. Dark Cloud Cover The Dark Cloud Cover candlestick pattern indicates a bearish reversal, a black cloud over the previous day's optimism. It comprises two candlesticks, a red candlestick which opens above the previous green body, and closes below its midpoint. It signals that the bears have taken over the session, pushing the price sharply lower. If the wicks of the candles are short, it suggests that the downtrend was extremely decisive. Remember, no system or methodology has ever been developed that can guarantee profits or ensure freedom from losses, 